I think this is a very potent piece of history here. Yeah. So please tell us who you are. Uh, this is uh, Jerry Cassidy, and I live in Elk Grove. Mm-hmm. And, and this is we are, uh, Cindy from, yeah. she's from originally from Hong Kong, but lives yeah. in San Francisco. And, and uh, originally up. from mainland China, yeah. Zhongshan, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. where our forefathers <laughs> reside. Okay, so Jerry? So yeah, so we took her down to the Delta, so the mm-hmm. Sacramento Delta, yes. and wanted to do some Chinese history there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and of course took her to the center of that, which is Lock. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a historic uh, site in, uh, in the Delta. Yes. And it was the uh, where most of the Chinese people sort of ran or uh, they were being burned out of their homes in mm-hmm. Isleton and some other small towns in the Delta. And a, a generous gentleman uh, mm-hmm. in Locke, mm-hmm. I believe that was his name, mm-hmm. um, he donated or rented them the land, mm-hmm. about 50 acres, mm-hmm. to uh, that they could uh, set up camp there. Mm. And of course, they set up camp, and they also uh, started building buildings. Mm. Uh, first, they, uh, Sun Yat Sen yes. was uh-huh. there, and uh, he built what is now the schoolhouse. Sun Yat Sen was there? Really? Yeah. As a matter of fact, the schoolhouse wow. was originally, uh, they had for fundraisers for his revolution in uh, China. Wow. And uh, they were uh, at gatherings there and planning sessions there. Mm-hmm. Eventually, it had become a schoolhouse for children, mm-hmm. one one room schoolhouse, mm-hmm. and then um, now it's only used for uh, they bring children in there mm-hmm. to uh, only speak Chinese, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, mostly American Chinese kids and, mm-hmm. uh, no longer speak Chinese. Mm-hmm. And uh, they bring them in there on a monthly basis. Mm-hmm. But the mm-hmm. entire town, of course, is very, very cool. Yes. And, uh, has a, ma- a massive amount of history. Everything from opium dens to uh, prostitution, houses of prostitution, mm-hmm. brothels, mm-hmm. Uh, gambling casino, mm-hmm. uh, and a lot of written history. Yes. About uh, the discrimination and the killings and. Mm. Uh, Harassment of Chinese people mm-hmm. that uh, had, uh, you know, been brought over here uh, to work on the railroad. Mm-hmm. And then once the railroad was finished, they were on their own mm-hmm. and settled in the Delta area, did farming and what mm-hmm. have you. So it's uh, it's an incredible uh, history there. You could spend uh, you know a couple of days, uh, you know, walking through each of the buildings. But uh, it's just uh, you walk in there and it's a drop back in time mm-hmm. back to the 19th century you know 1912 is when it started um, but uh, so she's uh, getting to learn a lot of the history now we're up here in the great Nevada City mm-hmm. with my friend Nico <laughs> and, and she, uh, we're looking at the stone house which was built by Chinese labor coolies with Italian masons design and help uh-huh. yeah so all this just brought us all back here. It's like That's right. amazing. That's right. Yeah, and we were just looking at the tunnel, or the beer cellar, mm-hmm. which was um, Chinese used as their secret passage to come and go. They um, lived outside the city in camps, is my yeah. understanding. Yeah. yeah, in the Chinatown area. And they so. could not be seen mm-hmm. uh, during, well, actually any time in Nevada City. Yeah. Of course, in San Francisco, uh, they had a little bit more liberal. Uh, as long as they were back home in Chinatown by midnight, they wouldn't be arrested. Wow, uh, so there's, there was uh, curfew. They, yeah, Broadway was the dividing line. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Chinatown was on one side, Italy, you know, Little, Little Italy, Italy or North Beach mm-hmm. was on the other side. They, of course, wanted the Chinese labor for doing dishes and cooking and that kind mm-hmm. of thing. Uh, but you had to have a green card or a mm-hmm. work card. Mm-hmm. And if you got caught over there without a card mm-hmm. or after midnight, you could be arrested. Wow, so many unfair that cha- treatment. That mm-hmm. didn't change uh, until probably the 1940s. Yes. So. And there was a big act against Chinese. They just shipped all Chinese home in the 1870s because uh-huh. they feel Chinese was taking all their jobs. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, it was interesting because the railroad barons brought them over here with the, the uh, understanding that they mm-hmm. could stay here after they 
worked them for slave labor. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And they hardly paid anything no. uh, mm -hmm. to work on the railroads, but they, the Chinese figured, well, we'll be mm -hmm. able to stay here afterwards. Yes. And as you say, they, they, they tricked them yeah. and uh, mm -hmm. shipped a lot of them back to, uh, to China uh, mm -hmm. in the 1870s. Yeah. But, uh, so I've I've yet to bring her to Angel Island. Uh, they just yes, renovated. Yes, uh, Cindy. Yeah, like having all this Chinese flashback. <laughs> well, she, Great. She knows that I know a little bit about history. And yes, you're, you know lots of histories. Yeah. Yes. Yes.